how to do memory troubleshoot with Dell Precision and Dell Optiplex. Uh, we have two PCs here, so we will show you how to troubleshoot memory. So uh, sometimes you get this error when you turn the, the PC on and uh, it's either give you the orange light or uh, either uh, the computer coming on and off or uh, either you are turning on the PC and there's no display. So uh, what we'll do, we will turn one PC off. So I will plug the power lead. So if I turn this PC on and you can see this PC coming on and off itself, but it's nothing displaying on the screen. So we are trying to troubleshoot uh, the memory on this PC. So first, what I will going to do, I'm going to remove the power cable of the back of the PC. Once you remove the power cable, then I am going to put the PC on the lying down position. Now I'm going to open the side panel of the Dell. So there is a clip, so I'm just going to pull the clip and it just come off. To troubleshoot the memory on Dell um, system, um, the memory is connected on motherboard. So you have to go to the motherboard, reach to the motherboard to check the memory. So you can see in this uh, Dell SSF, uh, before memory there is a hard drive and uh, optical drive so I will show you how to remove the optical drive first so there is a clip on the back so you just pull the clip and uh, and push it from the front and it will come off if you like if you want you can also disconnect these cables and uh, take it off but I will just leave it like this over here now the second part uh, you need to remove is a hard drive caddy so with the hard drive caddy there is a clip inside which is locked so i'm just going to unlock that clip and pull the caddy up now the hard drive is connected with two cables one power cable one uh, sata data cable so i'm just going to pull these two out and they will disconnect and you can see the caddy is now moving I'm just pull the caddy up so now you can see this Dell have a four memory sticks and um, they all are in its place uh, looks like so how to troubleshoot um, it can be uh, if you receive this computer first time and during the transit it might be one of the memory move out of its place or if you already or, or already have the Dell with you, so it might be one of the memory is not working. So the best way to check if there is any problem with the memory is to basically taking one by one out and then put it back in. So on this point, what I'm going to do, I am going to disconnect the first memory stick, plug the power lead back and see if I am getting any display. So to remove the memory, you can see both end have a clip so to take the memory out from the memory slot so you just need to push clip the memory it's you can see it's come a bit up and you can you have to do exactly the same from other side push the clip and you can easily pull out the memory there is a hole so when you're going to put that back in you just need to match this hole with the memory stick so but you and you can also remember the the how you actually take it out of the memory so i took out like this so i took the first memory out and what i'm going to do i am going to plug my power lead back and see if the computer is displaying now i connected my first uh, took out my first memory and um, I can see is still flashing orange and there is no display so what I will do I will move to the second memory slot so I'm again going to remove my power lead and uh, I normally don't disconnect uh, my USB uh, keyboard mouse and the, the VGA cable just the power lead now I am going to disconnect the second memory so I can see 
you can see if I'm just pushing this, the memory coming up from both sides. So I now I just pull this memory out and I'm, I left it here. And now I'm going to connect again the power lead. Again, you can see there is flashing orange light and there is no display on the screen. And um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do exactly the same step with the third memory. So I'm going to remove the power lead. Now, push this clips, take it out, connect the power lead again. And you can see again, uh, there is orange light flashing and there is no display on the screen. And uh, uh, now we have a last stick left. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the power lead. Once the, the computer stopped. So I will, for demonstrating this, uh, how to fix it, I left this one open. You can see it's already open. That's why it's not displaying. Um, and it can possible like you know when you receive the computer first time during the transit it might be just move out of its place and it doesn't give you any display so i'm assuming you receive the pc and the memory is out of its place so you can't push it in it's better to take the second clip uh, uh, open and then uh, take this one out fully and then try to push it in properly so make sure you match the memory hole and once you're happy with the, uh, the memory like you know is on its slot so you need to push inside the slot and these both clips you can clearly see these clips are closed now if you can see the both clips are closed so what I'm going to do right now at this point I am just going to connect the power cable And now the I'm gonna turn the, the computer on and you can already see like you know the light change from orange to white and um, you can uh, we, we are going to get uh, some kind of display on, on the computer so you can see now on the display screen it's saying uh, the amount of memory is changed so basically it's pick up the memory it's saying hard drive is not found of course because we disconnected the hard drive so on this point, what I'm going to do, I know this memory is move out of its place. So I'm gonna turn the computer off and connect everything back in. So on this point, I am just going to turn the computer off, remove the power cable. And now I'm going to put all this memory back in because I find out which memory is causing a problem and most likely the rest of them are fine. If you are checking the memory and if you are not getting any display, so I recommend you the you can take one memory out. If you are on the last stick, take this one out, and if you still haven't got the display, then put the another one in and see if you're getting any display. Sometimes one of the memory is not working, so you need to find out which one is not working. So in this case, the uh, the memory it's actually out of its place. So I'm going to put the second memory back into the computer. So I'm match the hole i'm just going to push it in and the both clips are securely in i will do exactly the same with the rest of the two memory sticks uh, push it in and this is the last one push it in before i connect the hard drive i will make sure is this computer working fine and you guys can do you can put one memory in and turn the computer on and check if it's working and then you can put the second one in and then third one then fourth one so now um, the good sign is like you know there is a, a white light so it's not orange light and uh, we are going to turn the computer on and see if um, we're getting display uh, on the screen so I just turned the computer on right now Okay, you can see now 
um, we got an alert. Uh, alert is um, the amount of system memory has changed and um, uh, the hard drive uh, are not found. So we know now the memory has been changed because first we turn it on is one uh, sticks, now then it's two sticks, then four sticks. So it's always give you alert the amount of memory is changed. When you put the more memory in or when, or if you take the memory out, you get this alert. So on this point right now, what we are going to do, we're going to turn the computer off and we're going to plug the uh, uh, hard drive back into its place and um, an optical drive. And I will show you how to remove this error. So I'm just going to turn the computer off, disconnect the power cable. So this is the hard drive caddy. So I will show you how to connect this into the computer. So you can see there is two hole and you need to put the hard drive caddy into this hole. So I'm gonna match the hole. So if you can see, I will match the hole and you can see is is going inside this hole. So before pushing it down, I am going to connect both cables back. So I will connect the power lead to the hard drive and um, there is a data SATA cable connected to the hard drive. So once these both are securely in, you push this caddy down. Once it's fully down, you need to lock this caddy in its place. So there is the optical drive. Uh, to put the optical drive, you just need to put on top of this caddy. Once you see if it's easily moving, you just need to push it uh, front and it will lock on this caddy uh, you can see it's securely locked so now I am going to do is putting the side panel back on so there is a holes again I will match the hole from the side panel and I'm just gonna put it on top and just push it in and you can see it's securely close our computer and I'm going to plug the uh, my power cable and I will show you what I'm going to do. So I will Connect my power cable and uh, I am going to turn my PC on and I will show you How to remove these alerts uh, and uh, the hard drive. So uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to start pressing F2 and It's saying preparing inter setup Okay, once you are in setup, so the Dell, this is Dell Precision 10 T1700. And even if you have Dell Optiplex 780, 790, 390s, all of these currently mainly are same. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go to the system logs, press enter, BIOS event. So you can see because we remove all these chair, we remove the cover, we remove the hard drive. So we have uh, error codes. Uh, so we need we can clear this lock. So I will just clear the lock. It asking me. Are you sure? Uh, I want to clear the lock. I will say yes and It's all clear. I will go back up on the system configure and I will go to the SATA uh, I will go for the drive so uh, you can see my all the drive 0 SATA 1 and SATA 2 it's are enabled and it's picking up the hard drive and the the optical drive make sure it's been ticked the reason why because when you keep restarting the computer computer will untick this um, uh, drives so sometime when you connect the op uh, even the optical drive and hard drive it don't pick up so you need to make sure they are actually ticked once you're happy with that you just need to go down and you need to click exit and you shouldn't get any error when Basically, if you have a Windows on this uh, hard drive, so it should, after the Dell sign, it should go to the Windows. Um, um, hopefully, it you will uh, know how to take the memory out and put it back in. And uh, if you need any help, you can uh, ask me on the comments. And uh, thank you for watching this video.